Well, not everyone wants turkey and ham for Christmas, so luckily there's plenty of alternatives and Edward Hayden is going to show us how to cook a goose. Good morning to you, Edward. Good morning. How are you, Tommy? I'm great. I've got a, a joke for you here when Have we get you? going. Why did the guards arrest the Christmas goose? I don't know. I'd be afraid to say I do know, so i say I don't know. <laughs> they suspected it of foul play. Boom, boom. Boom. Here all week, Tommy. We're, getting, all we're week. getting all these Christmas jokes in, you see, for uh, to people to win all these boxes. Keep your Christmas jokes coming in. If you got a good one about a goose, let us know. Now, Edward, how do we cook a goose and why do we cook a goose? Uh, a lot of people like a kind of an alternative maybe to kind of turkey. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I'm going to do one of the most controversial Christmas conversations anyway, which is stuffing. Oh, yeah. Um, because I do lots of demonstrations over the years, even on here and everywhere else. And people always say, the taste of stuffing, say, mm, yeah, that's lovely, but... I prefer my own. Mm. Everybody prefers their own stuffing. Everybody likes their mother's stuffing or their grannies or their auntie kitties or whatever. Why? What's, what? I don't know. What I think everyone just, seems to, everyone just seems to have their own little slightly unique uh, twist about it. So what I'm doing today, what's, what's really nice with the goose is to make a potato stuffing. So I'm using apple cranberry into potato. So here in my pot, I've just got and some no butter. And no sausage meat or anything? I'm oh. not using a sausage meat, but you could use a sausage meat if you wanted that kind of a denser style stuffing. Okay. okay? I've just got the uh, apple and the onion there. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and pepper in there along with it. Okay, just like so and sweat all of that down. What I've got then as well, Tommy, is I've got a little bit of mashed potato, which I'm going to put in in a few minutes' time. And also I'm going to put in uh, some lovely fresh cranberries. Okay, so that's really important just to get that nicely kind of melted down. Uh, again, you'd continue it a little bit more than I'm going to here today for the purposes of yeah. TV. So so put in our um, cranberries in there and put in some lovely herbs in there and just let all of that mix down. Any and then herbs in particular? I've there? got some parsley and I've got some thyme in there, okay. which is really, really nicely. So I'm just going to let that continue cooking down and then I'd add some breadcrumbs to it, some lovely fresh white breadcrumbs, which is the mixture that I've got here, oh, just like so. Lovely. So that's the kind of the mixture that you have. And I mean, think of that with whatever it is that mm. you're going to stuff chicken breasts so you could put some pork chops in there as well. Now, here what I've got, and I have the gloves on, I must just turn up my sleeves. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some mashed potatoes in there as well. Into uh, the goose. Into the stuffing, OK? Right, so I'm going right. to combine the mashed potatoes in with the stuffing, OK, just like so, and give that a nice good mix around. So over here then, what I've got is I have my goose prepared, and I want to keep that nice and loose. Uh, goose obviously is fatty, Tommy, so you need to make sure that you're going to do that on a trivia right, of vegetables, OK? So a trivia of vegetables are required tray. So what I've got is a carrot, some onions, a little bit of thyme there to raise the goose up. So I'm going to take this goose, okay, which I've just wiped out, okay, and then uh, same thing I do for a turkey or a goose. Um, there's always kind of things, do you stuff the cavity or not? Yeah. I am going to do it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper and I'm going to pop that right in. Uh, to the back there on the bottom. And I'm Inside? Going to, yeah. Why? Just because then you can pull out the stuffing once it's cooked uh, and it'll have that lovely flavour of the goose. But so, what's the point in putting it in then if you're going to be cooking it in parchment paper? No, because it will penetrate in through it. Oh, it'll really it? flavour it, but it just means you can take it out. Um, now, so I've made a little pocket there for all of the world, <laughs> if you can just see. I've made a lovely little pocket, I'll show you that. A paper pocket. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that stuffing and I'm going to pop that in. And what I'll say to you is pop it in, but don't stuff it as in jam-packed, OK? Keep it nice and uh, light and nice and loose. And then I'm going to pop that in. Have my oven at 200. Uh, rub the skin of the goose with a little bit of salt. Uh, you won't need to put any oil on it because you'll find that it is, um, you know, oily and fatty enough. Just close in that little pocket there and seal it up with a little cocktail stick into the oven. And again, a goose of that size should take about three hours, nice and slow. So start at maybe 200 and then get it down nice and slow there for a little while. So did you pat that down as well? So you kind of want to dry or it doesn't matter? Don't oh yeah, just matter. dry it off. And again, sometimes what I would do is put a little bit of salt onto the skin and that just it gives, you a, really nice, uh, it gives you a really nice effect. So I have um, a goose there that I have cooked during the night for you. I know, um, fair play to you. What time are you up at for I that? I stayed up until two to put in the goose to have it nice for you. Wow. And um, then what I've done is I've done a little bit of veg that was done then when I got a little bit of beauty sleep. 
Um, Not that you need a veg. Well, well listen, a small an hour, an hour or two, mate. Uh, um, tell um, me, the, the veg that was underneath that the, goose, that, that's gone pretty that's much, would it be? That's gone. It's kind yeah. of redundant at that stage. Yeah. Because it's in there for so long, I wouldn't necessarily... Um, I wouldn't necessarily serve it. So I've made some lovely fresh roasted carrot mm. and parsnip. I've got some potatoes, which I've roasted in a little bit of goose fat there as well for you. I've got a little bit of cranberry sauce. Oh, and then ah. um, also I have the few Brussels sprouts. And I said to you, Tommy, that I have the... Um, few Brussels sprouts there. I said to you that I had the goose as well. Now, the one thing I'd say to you, and I will say it to our, our viewers as well, the thing about a goose, um, you know, the joke is normally everywhere you put a knife in, it should meet a bone. So there's not a huge amount of meat on it. The meat that's on it is very flavoursome, but there's not a massive amount. So, so in terms where of, would I go to cut that now? In terms of catering yeah. for crowds. So what I'm going to do is see you've got the bone here, you've got the leg, if you like the leg, yeah. you could kind of split the leg there uh, to get in some of the leg meat. And I'm just going to give you some of the nice meat here from the breast, and I'm oh. going to take out a little small bit of stuffing uh, for you as well. Beautiful. Okay. So I'll give you a little bit oh, of yeah. that. Now, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get in here very quickly. And of course, at home, people will be doing this in the middle of yeah, glasses of yeah. Prosecco, so they won't be as rushed. Now, see okay, what I'm so saying about our lovely stuffing? Paper. There's our parchment paper oh, parcel, wow. and there's our lovely um, potato and cranberry stuffing. Uh, there you have it, and I'll let you help yourself there, Tommy, Edward, to some you. of them. Will I give you a potato? Come on, give us a spud as well. Now, man. and you can thank help you. yourself to whatever veg you like, or Edward a little bit Hayden. of cranberry. I don't actually have a fork. Oh, sorry, I, leave I have it, it here. Look, I have it here. Sorry, beg your pardon. There you have it. Oh, now, that was good, isn't it? It's tasty. It's a really nice, well-flavoured meat, and With it's nice to have as it well. So, see the dense of the, the denseness of the stuffing as well. It's a nice consistency. Hmm. Mm. So there you have it. Good alternative, isn't As it? As I said, it's for a smaller family. If you have a smaller family, because there's not a huge amount of meat on it, but what meat is on it is really well flavoured. Christmas dinner sorted, just need a bit of cranberry sauce. Bit of cranberry Edward there. Edward Haven, thank you very much. You're that very welcome. Delicious. Hopefully people will try that out. Mm, no doubt. We're in, you're missing out here. What's coming up next? Uh, don't eat it all. Like, <laughs> give me a break. He does this all the time. Uh, coming up on the show, you know the way Harry Potter is like Indiana Jones these days and, and Bond movies. It's associated with Christmas. Everyone watches them at Christmas time. No, Die Hard is Christmas. Yeah, I know it is, but you still... You watch Harry Potter at Christmas time as well, right? Right. He doesn't. Okay, Harry Potter, right? We're going to be getting Harry Potter secrets right. from Emma Watson's body double. That's after the break. It is associated with Christmas now. It is. He's wrong.